Ricardo and Yvette Solis are spreading Kathy's story. Their daughter was diagnosed with leukemia at just 15. Her parents, hopeful for their girl, they say was filled with life when two people matched for a bone marrow transplant. We got a phone call from the, from, um, it was Anderson, um, MD, Anderson. MD Anderson, that called us and said that there was a match and there was two potential matches actually, and so we felt very blessed. But Yvette Solis says things took a turn when those matches changed their minds and decided not to follow through. My daughter being the positive person that she was, brushed it off. First she cried because your hope is just shattered to know that your chance of living has just been turned away by somebody that could save your life. I used to call it the uh, glass window effect. I saw them and uh, I knew what, what was going on, but I couldn't help. There was nothing I could do. But now, after Kathy's passing, her parents say they've found what to do, something at her request. She looked at all of us and she, she said, well, she said, this is where I stop. But you have to promise me that you'll keep going. The mother and father promising Kathy they would educate people on being responsible donors, offering support for others going through the same thing. Financial burdens, counseling, and more than anything, comfort. Comfort others offered them in their time of need. An anomaly that, that became uh, evident to me was how many unknown people are willing to help. People I never knew. This disease will make you get to places, to a place where you think that hope doesn't exist and, and faith doesn't exist, but it's only an emotion and it's only a time because it is. Uh, and the way you work through it is, is having that support system. Support they hope people find through Kathy's story. Adriana Arce, KGNS News.